Hey everybody, welcome back. I thought we had a fun one last time. Let's go to pay to win. Pay to win is also fun. And this is a great shop. You owe it to yourself to do one reroll, but the I'm trying to I would can you get otters in pay to win? I would still take an otter over a, a beetle. I would take a second fish. I probably wouldn't take a second mosquito. I definitely would not take beavers. Let's be the um be a bearded warrior. Yeah, that describes me pretty well in both words, I would say. I like this team. Now, does the team like me? I don't know why I assumed we were going to lose that one. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think the team likes me. Uh, this is an, an amazing team. I don't really care to buff these beavers, so I will probably just buff the ladybug. We can keep the ladybug on the squad for a bit. This team, I it's not impossible to imagine it losing to a squad of ladybugs, but it's probably got a pretty high like draw chance at a minimum. Okay, yeah, what did I tell you? A prophetic. Now, levels. That's what we want to see. Some levels. I would I would combine to add a dromedary. And to be honest with you, I would probably freeze both apples, even though it might seem a little backwards. I wanted to buy the apples, but let's go up a level, see what we get here. We get a turtle. You can't say no to the turtle. Um, it is a tough sell. I think... I don't really care if you go up a level. I actually think I would give up the stat point to have a, a mosquito... Or, yeah, to keep a mosquito on the squad. And I will, um, perhaps bizarrely, keep two apples. Only because the ladybug helps us win in the mid-game. Which I think is really useful for us. So I'm feeling pretty, let's not say confident, but I'm, I'm feeling great about where we stand as a team right now. But it's a long season, you know? Um, let's justify the existence of our dromedary for longer. Let's buff you, which also buffs the ladybug. Let's buff you again. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buff you a third time and then move it like this. I would sell the mosquito next, but really what I want to do is pill a turtle in front of the dromedary. Now, the frozen dromedary... Is not getting Bacta. This is not a Bacta thing, okay? I know people always want to accuse me of running Bacta or pushing P or whatever. I'm not doing any of that. I don't even know what that means. It's not Bacta until I say it's Bacta, okay? Now, I don't really want a double dromedary. But there is a world in which sell a mosquito... Take two dromedaries, freeze this fish so that when it pops out later, <laughs> it's strong enough to justify the fish's existence in general. An interesting play. Wouldn't perchance, wouldn't you say? An interesting play perchance? Now, it's a it's a weird team, but don't look at the animals, look at the numbers. If you look at the numbers and the fact that we have some melon armor, this is a great team. Maybe not in terms of like their abilities or anything related to that. But it's a great team in terms of the numbers, and we got numbers to spare for the future as well. We still, we can't pop you out yet. We can pop you out, I suppose. We really want to see a pill, but you know what? If we get a level two turtle first, then so be it. I would freeze you. And then, for now, let's, I don't want to buy a salad, man, come on. Let's, let's buy this then, and then we can do some rolls. So this is going to be one heck of a drama there, man. And now I'm looking and I'm like, maybe we keep the turtle because the turtle itself has had a miniature back to renaissance associated with it. We lose a round. Okay, so we, I'm not going to say we hit like a bump in the power curve because I still think any team could beat us or we could beat any team depending on the day. In this situation, it's really hard not to take an early eagle. I think you are not doing anything for us anymore. No disrespect intended. Um... And then, give me a hatching chick that buffs our dromedary. An eagle at the back. Kind of like a super fly, if you will. Uh, now, look, the buffalo's great. I'm just too lazy to rework the whole run to fit it. <laughs> um, you know what? Forget that. Buy a can, and we're going to send out a super turtle. I think there's a chance this turtle could get to level 2, and maybe then we can... I know people don't like to hear this, but it's the darn truth. 
Maybe at that point we could consider, I just beat the team that beat me, how does that happen? We could consider adding a microbe and things start to look mighty interesting. So I don't want to pop this fish out yet necessarily. Would love to see more cans. Absolutely. You know what? Just buy a can and I say keep sending it for the time being. Remember that part where I said we're not doing Bacta? Sue me. <laughs> the Bacta, it always sneaks up on you, doesn't it? You think you're not doing Bacta, then before you know it, you got a 2020 fish just hanging out. But this team's been doing good work. This Winning early is so nice because it gives you the flexibility to be a little silly. Let's not forget that we're also winning late. Okay, just chill. I feel like you can can and then get a level 2 eagle out there and, f and feel pretty darn good about it. Forget a dragon, man. Forget it. Now, let's, let's move it up like this. I mean, that eagle is pretty spooky. I think a 2117 eagle that spits out a level 2 tier 6 unit. What would we be looking to get out of a level 2 tier 6 unit? Probably like an octopus, because I think it might step out as a 16-16, which is pretty... Okay, just a 12-16 dragon is also good enough. It's spitting out a pretty solid unit. Now, I think here we can finally be like, check this out. Everybody's getting a nice buff. Now, we still want this turtle to pop, and I would still... Let's keep you frozen for now, baby. Why not? I would definitely consider dumping a hatching chick now in order to fit a better unit. But what I really want to see is a level two turtle and a microbe. And I, I think we've crafted like a, a team that's very difficult to, to die. Now, we're gonna die here. That's I was saying conditionally on the existence of a level two turtle and a microbe, we have like a dream team. So just wait. Let's go level two turtle, which means we kind of have to sell the hatching chick. Well, no, that's not true in the slightest. We could just do that instead, or perhaps rather this. Um, so just wait for a minute. See what you get, you know? You could just sell a hatching chick um, and then take a T-Rex instead and then immediately get a, a glowing buff here. Very strong team for turn 11, but we might be running into some 50-50s. With, you know, which is why I've kind of like been a believer in, hypothetically speaking, a microbe would be a nice pickup, but this is okay. What are, is that? That's that's only seven? I thought we were at nine wins. Okay. <laughs> this might be a little hotter than I thought it would be. I still like this dromedary. I like what you're doing. I don't... Uh, uh, what the heck? Um, uh, let me think about this. Because I do kind of want to like one-up you and then pill you, but... You know what? Have we ever won with a level 3 dromedary? That's the first thing you should check on here. You haven't. Okay, so we don't get that opportunity every day. I think we got to put some priority on that. But let's keep this frozen as well. We got to keep 3 gold for the T-Rex. The T-Rex is a, an important part of the play here. We could easily lose this, by the way. This is not a gimme. Like, skunks are still a real pain in the butt. Oh my god. Just, like, literally one damage away from that being a draw, but I'm not going to cry about it as much as I'd like to. Why don't you take one of these? I think that's going to be the most helpful. I would love to, I mean, a T-Rex going up a level. Uh, we A turtle going up a level doesn't matter as much to us right now just because of the fact that we could just buy melon armor for three instead of spending nine gold on getting a turtle to pop, but come on, we need, we need a... A good sign here. It's just, it's spitting out a dragon every time. I'm not complaining, it's a 12-16 dragon, but... Now, I said we wanted a microbe. I... The more HP units have, the less this matters. Like, the less the microbe matters. But maybe... <laughs> let's stick to the plan. Now, a 1-up won't matter on our eagle, okay? Why? Because... It's going to get melon armor anyway, and that's what we want, quite frankly. You should take one of these. Probably the best thing that you can get. And um, this would be nice. I mean, we've obviously had many level 3 fish wins in the day. I probably don't need to tell you that. But to pick up a level 3 dromedary win, the dromedary's always been kind of up and down in my power rankings, which I think is largely related to... Me not being that smart. <laughs> I think it's actually really good, but... Chocolate or an eagle? That's exactly what we wanted to see. Thank you so much. 
And then at this point, I mean, what would we like to see? Any any buffs, I guess? Really just any buffs. Or, or a one-up and a pill, but I don't know. We need to make so much space for that to happen. I'm not sure if that's going to work for us. Okay, this is not good. Um, holy cow, we're lucky to come out of that one with a draw. That's like close to the platonic ideal team. Now, you need stats, okay? Everybody needs stats. It's the best we could do is stats. Maybe a, no, a steak on our turtle won't even do anything. Don't get tricked. Out of all these... I mean, you probably got to say that uh, your best unit getting the cupcake is probably most effective. So this is, it's tight, man. But man, this would feel good. I, a summon team is not good for us at all. That's the worst thing that could happen. And a, a team with splash damage as well is also bad. And yet we draw. If we don't play a summon team, I'm feeling okay. Although it's worth noting... The longer this goes on, the more likely that the teams we were, were going to face to get that win are going to be even more stat heavy than they already are. We want to see a team that's weak but has a lot of equipment. Mm, I don't know if this fits the bill. I hate losing my melon armor. That's for sure. Oh, we're dead. This close, man. Honestly, earlier microbe, I think, is the difference between life and death there. But I'm not going to cry. Probably. It was a pretty fun game. Um, and I'm sure we'll have another chance at a level 3 dromedary win. Let's be a Misty Turtle. Isn't it? That, that sounds like that could be like um, a, an electronic music song. We lose round 1. This, here's the, the thing you need to know about dealing with ladybugs. You're going to give up 1 HP to run them most of the time. At a minimum. Now here, I would I like you? Why, why not? Why not give you a slight buff? You know, because then you'll come out. You'll be a little bit more useful for us next time. I would probably combine our ladybugs. We don't necessarily have to. If, for example, we pick up a, an extra green beetle on top of the one we already have frozen, but that's a hard thing to guarantee. So I would say just go for it. Don't overthink it. You're fine. Okay, you, we'll use you for a bit, and then we'll sell you for a pair. And out of all this, I think you got to do something like that. I want this ladybug to have the best chance to feed. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird setup. Okay, fish is... Well, no, green beetles get combined first, then fish gets sold. That's our, that's our kill order right now. Ox, just really good. I'll never be sad about losing to an ox when, when we didn't have the opportunity to get one. For now, I would combine, add a ladybug, but don't, don't combine them yet. You don't have to. Real talk. I think you can cupcake a ladybug. And let's, let's throw meat on an owl for now. Because... The fish is going to get sold before the owl. It's not. It's nothing personal. It's just a stat-based calculation. We take a draw. Draw is the default model with a honey badger. Nothing to cry about. You know what? Let's give ourselves a very moderate amount of scaling. And moderate is just a polite way here of saying little. <laughs> But HP is always nice to have, you know? We gotta go up a level. Like, okay, straight up. I think if you sell... We got a lot of buy sells in our future, okay? If you sell your fish, roll a lobster, then you got like a little... That hurt. That That's gonna cause us a lot of problems. Because that's our only good unit. <laughs> we got like a built-in can. What are we at? 4 HP? That's bad. I'll just be honest. That's We, we got a ways to go. But if you buy this... Now, again, I'm getting a little insane. And then you sell this because the scaling is too slow to matter that much. Then you add this. And it's not that good, but it's something at least. And then we add this because you're more likely to stick around for a bit than the lobster. And we really don't want to lose a round, so we buy a cupcake as well. If this round loses with a 17-20 and every uh, unit on our team having meat, I'm going to be... Um, 
I'm gonna blame it on variance, which is maybe not fair, but this team feels good enough to have a shot. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't think the Caterpillar is the way to go. I think we can add you, and we're definitely just gonna buy a buff. We're, we're at level three. So let's get you to level three and then hope we don't lose this round. Next turn, we got plays, okay? You sell your owl. Hope the buff lands on the ladybug. Buy a bison. Hold on, we're doing something. This can work. Are we really keeping a lobster to get a small buff? Yeah, yeah, I think we are. Um... So I would say we, we don't really want you around either. Sell me. Sell me. That's perfect. Now we know we want you. You get a little buff. We know we want you. We also know that we want food. So we probably will sell our lobster. I don't know if we really need a turtle. Let's get a turtle. You still take the buff for now. You're getting scaled on your own right. Keep this around. We are looking for a pill for sure. I've been buying more cans. I just don't know if this is a, a, a can-worthy setup because our HP is in a really horrible spot. We need to get some... Like we, we need to not lose for a lot of consecutive rounds. This went nicely. That's four wins. Feeling a little bit better. Um, we don't want to upgrade a hatching chick. If anything, it's not long for this world. But I would definitely like buy this. Um, I And then roll me once. I would think for a second. Four, four, three, three, one. We'd sell a three in order to fit our poodle, but I still don't necessarily see it. But give me another buff. We can run into scorpions now, so I think we rework the team thusly. Although there is a part of me that's like, you know what, just go skunk at the front and then go back to your old uh, sounds here. And then give your skunk a buff. A level two skunk, probably more important than a level two turtle for now. But we need to, our team loses so easily to a, a single scorpion. We got to run something like this, I think. We got to run anti-scorpion tech for a bit, at least until we get some melon armors. I'm feeling okay again. Five wins with a, with a path for the future. Now, we probably look to get you to level two. Other units don't appeal to me. Don't really appeal to me. Um, a level two turtle appeals to me a lot. But let's get a chocolate on our skunk so we get this sick buff here. I would like a, a T-Rex. You at least have to think about it, I think. Um, but you don't buy it on this turn. It's easy enough. Uh... T-Rex is just nice. We get, we got the space, too, because we know that a hatching chick is not, like, relevant. Holy cow, we're going to lose this round. Interesting team. I got to give you some credit. I didn't think it was possible. Let's go up to level two. Now we got a, a, a weird team, okay? But a team that can do some work. We want to see that. Are we going to put a T-Rex on the squad? I would say yes. And then we obviously have a gold problem as a result, but that's okay. I don't think we bought food this time, so that, that's going to put us in a bit of a pinch. But for round 11, I don't know. With, with The thing, you look at the stats, the stats don't look great. But don't look at the stats. Look at the skunk, man. Because the skunk is what's going to possibly change the game. Or disappoint us the most when we get five wins. <laughs> I thought we were off to a good start there. Okay, try me again. An interesting team to be sure. You should roll just in case. Okay. Um be a be a subtle package. I think that's what you want out of your pants, right? Either way, let's just move on. I don't know if three mosquitoes is that good, um, but it crushes a summon team. Holy cow. <laughs> I think it probably loses to like ants and two, three units, but uh my god, like I couldn't have asked for more. Uh, a more perfect opponent for us to have gone up against. Four extra damage round two is pretty substantial. Like, that that does make a big difference. 
I feel like we must have gotten a little unlucky there to draw. I know how that sounds, but I just mean in terms of like how our mosquito played out. That's nuts. Don't don't combine me yet. I could see why you would think that I would want that, but don't combine me yet. Um, give me meat on the hatching chick. If uh, previous trends stand, it will probably stick around for some time. Let's try something like this. Next turn, we pill the we combine the mosquitoes, pill the ant, and look to add two more animals. I feel fine. That, that their team would draw against I think almost any level or the turn tier three turn three team. What am I talking about? Okay, place me, kill me. For the time being, I think you can get away with this. Stop me if you've heard this one before. There, I would rather get a, a little honey than reroll. For now, it, it's a I'm getting a little spooky. Don't get me wrong, but we we just killed two animals, so we kind of needed like a you know any port in the storm. As long as you're dead. No, we still lose. That's fine. We lost by one. Life goes on. 8 HP, still feeling fine. I still think you would combine for sure. And then buy. And then sell. And then buy. And then combine. And then put a turtle at the front. And then, I don't really love any of this, but I'll give you a small buff. Now, I, I know that my new heuristic is never take swan. I've reworked that to take swan sometimes, but not often. <laughs> I think if you if you see two swans on a shop, you can entertain the idea at least. That's good. That's good. Three wins. That's where a swan now becomes useful again. I would sell the peacock in order to put you in. Don't even worry about this yet. I would kill you. And if I have to roll a tropical fish, I would say thank you for the opportunity. I mean, to be honest, I would rather have two HP uh, than one gold. So I think we're going to do it like... I really don't want to buff. Why is my brain so bad at puzzles? We need to do it like... Like this. Okay, I'm a genius again. <laughs> Not really. Um... I don't know if you freeze garlic here. I mean, honey is worse, but it's also free because we already paid for it. That's one way to think about that. At least we're trading 2v1 with the ant. Our mosquito usually gets a, a very favorable uh, spread. Usually he trades like uh, 1v4. So that's good stuff for us. We like it. We need more... Uh, we need more of what we've already got. But you know what? For now, I would buy one salad as a bet hedger. I would freeze a pear and then buy the pear. The next unit to go is definitely the tropical fish. But the, the hatching chick is not far behind. But we need to see a suitable replacement. Kind of wish I bought that garlic. <laughs> not going to lie. Stop it. Get some help. Ah, oh, whatever. You're dead. Okay. Strong Mosquito. There's five wins already. With eight HP. We're about to have a level three. I think we can talk about this. First, you're going to take this. A Caterpillar is also interesting to me. But I, my dream is that the game is not going to go on long enough for that to matter. That might be foolhardy, though. We don't know yet. We prob we're very unlikely to run into a Mosquito yet. You're a great Scaler. I would sell a Hatching Chick. In order to get you scaling a bit. Keep in mind we got way more money to buy food with. Which I think is also part of the seals kind of like flowchart. In order to work as best as possible. So we're building to not get blown out by our one big weakness. And our one big weakness right now is like if we run into a level one or two skunk. We're just done. <laughs> like we're just toasted. Um... So this should help us avoid that. First, you're scaling, and you're also scaling other units. Very slowly, but you're also getting stronger yourself in the meantime. Freeze me. Definitely give me one of these. If it hits the seal, we get a nice little amplification there. Now, we, our power level might have come down a little bit, but I think we, we did well to replace the 5-5 five, five, uh, hatching chick buff we were missing. Feeling great. Feeling great. 
As long as the skunk gets to do its opening ability, we don't care, and it, it can't not, so that's fine. Um, I would still feed you. I probably wouldn't risk a salad. Let's go up with the, with this much HP. You gotta give yourself the swan. Keep any targeted food that doesn't override garlic. Definitely. Well, and maybe cupcakes. We'd say questionable, but sure. Now we we got one extra gold per turn. We got a lot of runway. It's a spicy team. It's the it's the power of a penguin. You've heard of the power of the dog. Guess what? This is the power of the penguin. We weren't off by too much, but enough to lose, for sure. Feed me. Definitely still buy me, I think. Um, you know what? A melon would hit the spot on you, and then just take a chance on your sushi, I think. Very nice. Can't complain about the, the luck we've been getting there. Now, let's, let's move it around a little bit, okay? I like to have my melon separated by one when I remember. Because <laughs> I don't want one deer to blow away both of them. Now, that can still happen depending on positioning. But, it, I, I mean, you couldn't have asked for a more illustrative example of how that can actually work out in your favor. Maybe still would have won anyway, but now you get buffed. I would definitely chance the sushi on you beautiful place uh, you know what why don't you take a melon at this point it might help you out a little bit and let's follow our own advice and try to avoid getting turbo killed by splash damage we got an interesting team here at round 12 with eight wins still only a level one skunk and and that's going to be a problem on a round like this i think at least we purged the steak <laughs> still still died but at least we got rid of that steak I would uh, just say, though, I you need to get up a level. I genuinely think we're going to 10. And I know how that looks, given the circumstances right now. But I think this team goes to 10. With a level 2 skunk... Now, a kangaroo is always a little dangerous. Always throws a bit of a monkey wrench into things. Never mind. We're okay. <laughs> That's nine, right? Okay. So so far now, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more confident, feeling a little bit shrewder. Honestly, I would rather just get buffs. I don't think our buffalo needs it so much. Um, needs the help, I should say. And then I could give something melon armor, or I could give two random friends through... Oh, I probably can't even buy it for you, right? Oh, okay. Well, I, now I do want to say, I think the mathematically correct play was probably giving your, um, your swan... Melon armor. Um, but, hey, we tested a theory. A game theory. See you next time. I like that. We got some 10 wins in there. That feels good. We, we had a good performance in the two videos I recorded today. I added a couple of games to the Hall of Fame here. Feeling solid. I mean, this is a classic. That's like a pre-patch build right there. This... I mean, it's a dragon build, so yeah, also pre-patch. <laughs> this, I don't even know what was going on, or this, but any, or this, for that matter. Either way, though, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm also a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!